In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Faraday cage for your portable power station out of a galvanized can, a toolbox, and even a cooler bag. But not, not really. It's not really a Faraday cage. You'll find out what I'm talking about in a minute. I'll show you how to test it and how we use ours, and then finally some options for different size portable power stations and, uh, and just using a Faraday cage in general. Making a Faraday cage out of my galvanized can here and my aluminum uh, toolbox is pretty easy. I just need some aluminum tape, uh, high quality, uh, thick uh, aluminum tape, and just tape up all the seams and every place that uh, something is, is protruding through the metal, like for the handle here. And uh, the, uh, the rivets, just tape it up from the inside. And then any of the seams. That's all there is to it, really. Okay, same, same thing for the toolbox. Just everything that that uh, that you can see that has a uh, that was added on to it, the hinges, anything that was added on or the latch, just tape it up. Now, um, as far as the seal, which is the most important part, um, it's got a rubber seal on it, and uh, I just put aluminum tape over it. But be sure that you bring it over and and uh, and bring the tape on to the the aluminum. Uh, toolbox as well all one piece because that's what you're trying to do you're trying to create one solid aluminum box and uh, that's really about it the only difference is between this and the uh, the cam is um, we tape the outside of, of the edges and in the cam we take the inside it's just easier to do all right, so this this is just a, a cooler bag uh, for lunch. You put your you know uh, you can put ice in it and drinks and everything. And actually, it's a really nice little bag. Um, so this is not a Faraday cage, but what I've done is I took the R Ecofold R six hundred Pro and put it inside uh, an EMP bag, and and so I know it's going to have at least uh, fifty dB shielding. So that's how I store this particular um, portable power station. Just like that. The way I test my Faraday cages to find out if they're shielding 50 dB at least is I use a, a radio and I turn this, I find the strongest signal I can find and then put it inside the cage and put the lid on and see if the signal goes away. If it does, I probably have about 50 dB shielding. Uh, and, and that's adequate to uh, protect my electronics, according to Dr. Bradley. Like I said, you can see his link below. So, let's give it a try. All right, it went away. Same thing. So, it's probably getting about 50 dB shielding on this, and that's good enough. Now, I'm going to show you how I actually use these. We have two 10-gallon galvanized cans, and I'm going to show you how we use each one. Now, this is I'm going to be storing my R600 EcoFlow Pro in this can, and uh, I decided to go ahead and leave it in the, this little cooler because yeah, it, fits, it fits fine. In fact, the uh, EMP bag is still wrapped around the, uh, the R600. So in effect, I'm going, to, I'm going to be getting almost 100 dB with this. So what I did is I put it in, and it fit, but I noticed that there's obviously there's a lot of room on top and a lot of wasted room. So I, I got a serving bowl on Amazon, and in it I, I put in my walkie-talkies, uh, a power supply for my ham radio, and other, uh, other devices there. Seal it up put it inside and now put this on top and it all fits and then what I'll do is I'll put my power cord in uh, and my uh, solar power wiring and it's ready to go now I have 100 dB protection on probably about 100 dB protection on my unit and uh, about 50 for all of my other items in there. So that's how I use uh, can number one. Now for number two. This is our second 10 gallon galvanized can and 
I'm going to show you how we use this one. We have, we have another serving bowl and uh, other electronics. Just place it on the bottom. And I have, I want to protect my ham radio, uh, portable ham radio. I, I ordered an EMP bag, and it should be here pretty soon. But for now, anyway, I'm going to put it in like this. Once I have the bag around it, it'll be 100 dB protection, which is more than enough. But uh, I don't put this in a case. It won't fit so in here with that. So I, I just set it on top. It's super light. It's not going to hurt my radio. The radio is very strong. And that's all we do. Put the wires in, and, and there we go. So if I have both these covered with EMP bags, it's going to be 100 dB protection, which is overkill, which is great. Well, this would be fine just the way it is. I wanted to give you a couple other options. If you just wanted to use a galvanized uh, can, but you want to line the bottom with something so that your electronics don't have direct contact with the bottom of the can, um, you can use cardboard or you know rubber or whatever you want. But uh, we bought this. Uh, it's a, called a pet feeding mat uh, for the toolbox, and that's what this is for actually. And then got the idea of just cutting a circle out from it and then putting it in, and so it works really well. Um, and then this one is for the uh, toolbox. So if you're just looking for something simple like that, that's, that's an easy way to go. Uh, and then another thing you could do is you could pick up one of these flexible uh, buckets, rubber. And this, this company is called Red. They used to be tub trucks. And it fits really snug, super tight, snug. And you can put your electronics in here and uh, protect them from touching anything so you can really fill it up. Uh, I don't know if you can get a portable power station in here. It's not very wide. But for uh, other, um, some other electronics, it worked great. So if, uh, if, you want, if you're interested in any of these things, I have a link below for all of this uh, for more information. All right, so now I'm going to uh, tell you how we use our toolbox. All right, this is my other Faraday cage. It's that toolbox. And um, I line the bottom with the pet feeder mat that I already showed you. I keep my Delta 1300 in here as well as the EF 1500 external uh, battery for my R600 EchoFlow. It's a, it was a Kickstarter campaign battery, so um, it's, it's uh, a lot heavier than the retail version. Uh, this weighs 32 pounds, so um, that's why I like to keep it on a dolly. This dolly here is a, uh, an adjustable dolly and it uh, can hold up to 1,100 pounds and has little stoppers on it right here so, so it provides stability when it's sitting still. But uh, what, what we do is we just keep this in the closet and then when we need it, we could just pull it out. This is the case for the Delta 1300 I found. It's actually just a Tahoe cooler. It'll hold 50 cans plus ice. I wanted to put it in here with the Delta, but it wouldn't fit. So... Uh, but if you're looking for a, uh, some type of case, it is really pushing the limit on the weight. So I don't know how well it's going to, you know, how durable it will be um, using it like this. But okay, so I'll show you how easy it is. Well, you can use a, a, a dog leash or, or a rope or whatever. We just have a strap here. So it sits in the closet and we just pull it out and put it where we need it. It just rolls really easy. And when we need it, we just pull the. Uh, you know, the uh, portable power station out, and away we go. You don't want to run it inside here, of course. Well, I hope I've helped you out, um, giving you some ideas about how to protect your portable power station. Um, if, if it's been helpful, please share it, and uh, I'm sure others might find it helpful. And, uh, and uh, maybe like it, subscribe, and thanks so much for taking the time to watch. All right, have a great day.